Hey everyone, I'm Laurentio, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all the legacy of Kane games for the PlayStation 2. The first one is Soul Reaver 2, which manages to improve upon many aspects of the first game. First off, the puzzles. They are way better now. The developers ditched the puzzles where you were pushing blocks and replaced them with creative environmental puzzles. In rest, Soul Reaver 2 is very similar to the first one. But everything is, it does, it executes it better than the first game. Also the game is shorter, and this time it's a good thing. The first one dragged a lot, but here the fun factor is higher. Unlike the first one where the game was forcing you to push blocks just to add more gameplay hours. Oh, and as for the story, you have to play all of the games in the series to be able to understand the story in Soul River 2. Because if you don't play the other games first, you'll be very confused when playing this one. Blood Omen 2 The Legacy of Cain is a pretty forgettable game. It takes place a thousand years before Soul River 1 and some centuries after the first Blood Omen game. And the reason why the game is forgettable is because it wasn't developed by Silicon Knights anymore. It was made by Crystal Dynamics and Nixis Software. And since fans loved the world in the previous games, in Blood Omen 2 the world feels disjointed. At first the game gives you the impression that it's not really that bad, but then it progressively loses more and more appeal. Enemies are brain dead and combat feels stiff, you have to watch the same blood sucking animations so many times you get fed up by them and boss battles have each their own gimmick but once you know it the boss battles consists of just waiting for the boss to finish its animations and then attack the brain dead enemy and the puzzles consist mostly on just pulling switches overall the game is tiring but the gameplay might be even suitable for a kid. I mean the gameplay is so simple you don't need gaming skills or to read what is happening on screen or even pay attention to what is going on in the game. That's how easy the game is. And even if from the video you might get the impression that it's an incredible game well just know that even if those well done gameplay elements really are cool they get tiresome after they get repeated so much during the gameplay. Legacy of Kane Defiance is a fantastic title in the series. It brings a lot of improvements. The combat feels fast paced and full of action and the enemies don't feel that brain dead anymore as in the previous one. Also the long blood sucking animations are gone. Now Kane sucks blood from the normal over the shoulder camera and you can stop whenever you want, just like in the first Legacy of Kane games. And unlike the other one, the Blood Omen 2, where you were forced to watch a long and tiresome cutscene of Kane doing that. Now in Legacy of Kane Defiance you don't do that anymore. It's easier to suck blood. Also in this game you don't play only with Kane but with Raziel too. And the two characters feel different. Raziel feels faster and more lightweight in combat. And also each character has its own unique combos and own unique moves. But even if the game brings lots of improvements, it's far from perfect. First off, the story. The story is pretty confusing. Also, during gameplay, you will have to backtrack a lot. Because the level designs are so confusing, you get easily lost in them. Also the camera is a total mess. You have no control over it, which means that you get skewed angles or the camera just isn't showing enough. But overall, it's the best game of this series. It has in my opinion the most action packed combat. The puzzles are balanced, meaning that they aren't too confusing nor are childlike like in Blood Omen 2. The story is confusing and leaves many questions, so if you really want to get something out of the story, you have to play 
all of the games in order. And even then, for some this story might be a little too much fiction and they won't like it and abandon the gameplay. But if you like this series, you are not alone. Actually this series has a pretty strong fan base that still discusses the questions remained unanswered in this story. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.